One other thing I'm going to do, which our Neolithic forebears couldn't, I'm going to check the temperature. More accurately, I'm going to monitor the temperature all the time that we fire this piece of clay. And so every 10, 20, maybe 30 minutes, I will take the temperature with this. It's called a thermocouple. It's nothing more than a high temperature thermometer. I switch it on. There's a digital readout. It tells me that the temperature in the backyard is about 22 centigrade. That's about 72 Fahrenheit. It's a rather nice morning, actually. We're going to put this into the furnace and we will monitor the temperature. It'll take a few seconds, maybe half a minute. So here we go. The probe goes into the furnace and I'll just leave it there. And you can watch as the temperature goes up. Now this is in centigrade. So we're up to a, we're about 100. That's the boiling point of water. We're still going up. What I'm trying to find out is the temperature of the air. Because it's the air temperature that is going to be firing my piece of clay. Well, I think it's getting close to stabilizing at about 170. Now I want to get it a lot higher than that eventually. But it's going to take a time. The fire in here, the charcoal fire, has to both heat the space, the air. It also has to heat the sods on top. I can put my hand on and it's not even warm. And yet, underneath here somewhere, the temperature is almost twice that the boiling point of water. Now, being a good scientist, I have a pad of paper, and in this column I note down the time at which I take the reading. On this side we note the temperature. So, the time is 9.50. How time flies when you're having fun. The temperature, we'll put the approximate sign, 165. This process will take quite a long time. Quite frankly, I'm not sure how long, and that's why I wanted to do this experiment where we are firing just a thin disk of clay. We'll keep the fire burning for the entire day, and we can feed charcoal down the chute into the fire, and so we'll keep it burning for at least 12 hours. Overnight, we'll allow the furnace to cool down, and then tomorrow I will open it up and I'll take some pictures for you. What's most important, however, is the next time I get together with you, I will have a time temperature plot for this furnace. I'll also have some scanning electron microscope images of the clay itself. And I can answer the question, which is mine as much as yours. Have we in fact fired this clay? Have we transformed the clay particles into a clay ceramic? So, I'll see you when I see you.